Hello guys, this is Chinchang from the Tech Revolutionist. Here we're at Computex 2024 and here at the NVIDIA keynote. So we're gonna go through what Jensen is gonna bring to us and at the same point of time, uh, conclude and give you five main things that's worth looking out for. last week, Google announced that they put QDF in the cloud and accelerate Pandas. Pandas is the most popular data science library in the world. Many of you in here probably already use Pandas. It's used by 10 million data scientists in the world. Downloaded 170 million times each month. It is the Excel, it is the spreadsheet of data scientists. Well, with just one click, you can now use Pandas in Co Colab, which is Google's cloud data center's platform, accelerated by QDF. The speed up is really incredible. Let's take a look. That was a great demo, right? Didn't take long. NVIDIA inference microservices. Now what, what happens is the NIM runs inside this factory. And this NIM is a pre-trained model. It's an AI. Well, this AI is, of course, quite complex in itself. But the, co the computing stack that runs AIs are insanely complex. When you go and use ChatGPT, underneath their stack is a whole bunch of software. Underneath that prompt is a ton of software, and it's incredibly complex because the models are large, billions to trillions of parameters. It doesn't run on just one computer, it runs on multiple computers. It has to distribute the workload across multiple GPUs, tensor parallelism, pipeline parallelism, data parallel, all kinds of parallelism, expert parallelism, all kinds of parallelism. Distributing the workload across multiple GPUs, processing it as fast as possible because if you are in a factory, if you run a factory, your throughput directly correlates to your revenues. Your throughput directly correlates to quality of service. And your throughput directly correlates to the number of people who can use your service. We are now in a world where data center throughput utilization is vitally important. It was important in the past, but not vitally important. It was important in the past, but people don't measure it. Today, every parameter is measured. Start time, uptime, utilization, throughput, idle time, you name it. Because it's a factory. When something is a factory, its operations directly correlate to the financial performance of the company. And so we realized that this is incredibly complex for most companies to do. So what we did was we created this AI in a box and it containers an incredible amount of software. Inside this container is CUDA, QDNN, TensorRT, Triton for inference services. It is cloud native so that you could auto scale in a Kubernetes environment. It has management services and hooks so that you can monitor your AIs. It has common APIs, standard APIs, so that you could literally chat with this box. We now have the ability to create large language models and pre-trained models of all kinds. And we, we have all of these various versions, whether it's language-based or vision-based or imaging-based, or we have versions that are available for healthcare, digital biology. We have versions that are digital humans that I'll talk to you about. And the way you use this, oh, just come to ai.nvidia.com. And today we uh, just posted up in Hugging Face the Llama 3 NIM fully optimized. It's available there for you to try. And you can even take it with you. It's available to you for free. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Blackwell.
Black, Blackwell is in production. Incredible amounts of technology. This is our production board. This is the most complex, highest performance computer the world's ever made. This is the gray CPU. And these are, you could see each one of these Blackwell dies, two of them connected together. You see that? It is the largest die, the, the largest chip the world makes. And then we connect two of them together with a 10 terabyte per second link. We have code names in our company and uh, we try to keep them very secret. Uh, oftentimes, uh, most of the employees don't even know. But our next generation platform is called Ruben. The Ruben platform, the Ruben platform, um, I'm, I'm not going to spend much time on it. Uh, I know what's going to happen. You're going to take pictures of it and you're going to go look at the fine prints uh, and feel free to do that. So we have the Ruben platform and one year later we have the Ruben um, Ultra platform. All of these chips that I'm showing you here are all in full development, 100% of them. And the rhythm is one year at the limits of technology, all 100% architecturally compatible. So this is, this is basically what NVIDIA is doing. Welcome. Here we go. About my size. And we have we have some friends to join us. So the future the future of robot robotics is here. The next wave of AI. And and of course, you know, Taiwan builds computers with keyboards. You build computers for your pocket. You build computers for data centers in the cloud. In the future, you're going to build computers that walk and computers that roll, you know, around. And um, so these are all just computers. And as, as it turns out, uh, the technology is very similar to the technology of building uh, all of the other computers that you already build today. So this is going to be uh, a really extraordinary uh, journey for us. Thank you all for coming. Have a great copy text.